This restaurant calls itself an allergen-free zone. Owner Paulino Senya's son, <laughs> Lucien, has severe food allergies. And even though he feels safe here, his EpiPen is still always at the ready in case he goes into anaphylactic shock. He doesn't have a spare because of the widespread shortage. It is extremely frustrating. You know, it's not a running shoe. It's not like this is life-saving medication. Um, this is something that we carry, that we depend on. Pharmacists have been rationing their supply, but there's about to be another option. To inject. The health minister has ordered this from the U.S. AviQ will be in pharmacies next week. It has the same medication and same dose as an EpiPen and has a voice instruction system. Five. The AviQ will be imported for two weeks while the government works to extend that to a year. And this pharmacist thinks they're here to stay. Well, I think that uh, all of the players have come to realize that uh, over-reliance on one product, uh, especially when there's a possibility of supply shortages, um, is something, a, a situation where we really don't want to find ourselves in, uh, in the future. The health minister says the government will continue to work with partners and stakeholders on long-term solutions to make sure life-saving auto-injectors remain available. So that 19? The availability of a new drug gives Paulino Senya a bit of breathing room as back to school looms. Having to think of whether or not I'm going to have access to an EpiPen come Tuesday is something I don't want to have to worry about. It's a matter of life and death for too many people. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Toronto. There have been on and off shortages in Canada and the U.S. for well over a year now because in this country, at least, Pfizer has been the only source of epinephrine auto-injectors. And Pfizer has had recurring manufacturing delays, in part because it's having trouble sourcing a particular component. Making things worse, this is the season of peak demand since most kids head back to school next week. EpiPens also expire 18 months from the time they're made. But that being said, if someone is having a life-threatening allergic reaction and all you have is an expired pen, Health Canada says use it and call 911.